Good morning. It's uh, Friday, July 2nd, and uh, as you can tell, I'm outside in the back, and the plane is going overhead, of course. Uh, this morning, I'm reading from The Word in Season, uh, the new booklets have come out for July, August, and September, so they're available at church uh, in large print as well. So today is called Confidence in the Cross, and he's, he's quoting from 2 Corinthians 10, 7 through 11, and this is verse 7. If you are confident that you belong to Christ, remind yourself of this. And the author writes, a, one, a friend once told me that the more I cleaned out my email spam folder, the less spam I would receive. The same technique can be helpful when dealing with old tapes that play in our mind, making us question our abilities or identity. Throughout Paul's ministry, people questioned his witness and worthiness. In response, Paul pointed back to the cross and Christ crucified as the one in whom his worth and calling was found. He reminded those reading his letters that his calling was to proclaim Christ crucified. As followers of Jesus, that is our calling too. As we go about our work, there will be times when something or someone makes us question who God has created and called us to be. And when this happens, like Paul, we can push stop on these tapes by pointing to the cross and to Christ crucified as the one in whom we live and move and find our being. My first, my first, um, excuse me, first synod assembly uh, at Greater Milwaukee Synod, uh, I remember a retired pastor came up to me um, and he said, um, don't let them make don't let them make you feel bad about yourself or something to that effect and I always remember that don't let them get to you remember yeah you're a child of God and you've been called to this particular kind of ministry and um, live into that calling um, whatever that may be and as you know I've been I've had a lot of callings um, from a warehouse worker in Sears to um, to a paint lab technician, to a youth director, to a social worker, to a copier sales and service technician, uh, to organ installations, um, and now to ordained ministry. But oh, you, each of those are callings, and you live into those, and you know who's behind it all, and you know that God has got his hand in it, and is, uh, giving you life and, and uh, sustenance for all these things, too. Um, but uh, live into that calling and witness to the love and mercy of Christ. And that's what we can do. And uh, bring us back to ourselves, back to the reality of that's who we are, whose we are. Uh, gives us some kind of comfort to know that I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to have all the answers, but I'm a, I'm a, a soldier. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm journeying along the way, and I... I meet people along the way, and um, we could offer each other uh, encouragement or strength or wisdom or whatever it is, or presence. It's, it's, a, it's a good calling to be a part of, and so we remember that today. Um, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for your calling us to be yours always, uh, to live into your calling that you've given each of us, whatever that may be. And help us remember that we are yours and where our identity is through you. To the cross and Christ crucified and the one who gives us life. Uh, that is you. So we celebrate that today. In your name we pray. Amen. So until tomorrow, I will uh, see you and have a wonderful day.